Hi, Teacher Anjana. What are you actually doing? Hi, Teacher Tulsi. I'm practicing on my badminton skills. I want to be a good badminton player. I want to represent uh, Malaysia in the next Olympics game. Wow, that's interesting. That means you want to win gold medal like our Malaysian athletes? <laughs> yes, of course. I want to win a gold medal. Okay, just like our Malaysian athletes, I'll show you some of them. Okay. This is Dato Azizul Hasni Awang. He is a professional track cyclist and he won a silver medal in the Olympics held in the Tokyo lately. And the next one is Pandalela Rino, who is a diver. He, she is a two Olympic medalist and has five World Championship medalists. And do not forget our Datuk Lee Chong Wei. He is a medalist in Olympics too. Of course, how could I forget him? He has he's a triple silver medalist at the Olympic Games and he's one of the best badminton players in the world. Wow, that's exciting. Aren't they great? Yes, they are. TV KPM La 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 Oop oop Ha that was nice riding on the bicycle right now. Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope everyone is doing well at home. My name is Hanif Sean and now you're watching d TV KPM. And today we're going to learn together English Language Level 2. And I'm sure you're wondering why am I riding a bicycle? You were seeing our two teachers as well. One is playing badminton and then they were talking about Pandalela. They were talking about Dato Azizul Hasni. They were talking about Dato Lee Chong Wei as well, which I'm sure all of you at home recognize those names and of course if you want to know more who our teachers are the two that you saw in the beginning let's have a look at their profiles Yes, there you have it. So we have two beautiful teachers today and they are Miss Anjana Prem from SK Puchong Utama to Selangor as well as Miss Tulasi Anak Perempuan Viswanathan from SK Wan Batu Empat Kuala Lumpur. Good. Hello teachers. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you both doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. And how I'm are you? I'm great. Mr. Lassi? So All right. excited. Excited and I'm sure all pupils at home, they are also very excited today because are we going to do some sports or are we going to learn English or are we going to put them together? I'm sure you're wondering but before that, let me just have the teachers introduce themselves first. We can start with Miss Anjana. Uh, hi, I'm Miss Anjana Prem. I live in Puchong and I teach in SK uh, Puchong Utama 2. Oh, that's lovely. And how about you, Mr. Lassi? Hi, I'm Teacher Tulasi. I'm teaching in SK1 Batu Empat Jalan Ipoh and I'm living in Kepong. Alright, thank you so much Mr. Lassi. Thanks Ms. Yeah. Anjana as well. And of course, a um, reminder to our pupils at home and of course to us here to always follow the SOPs in place. Why? Because we are still in a battle against COVID-19. And how do we do that? There are just three simple ways. The first way is to wear your face mask that covers right above your nose until underneath your chin. Number two, if you need to go out, you love to go jogging, you love to play sports, or even if you want to get anything at the supermarket, make sure you practice social distancing of at least one meter from yourself to the next person. The third one is the easiest to always keep yourself clean. And how do you do that? Simply by washing your hands with soap and water sufficiently. But if you don't have water, not to worry, just use a sanitizing gel. All right. So today, our dear teachers, can you just give us a brief of what is the topic that we're going to talk about? Okay, today, uh, looking at all our sports equipment here, 
uh, don't you think that we're going to do something about it? I think we're definitely, I'm seeing a ball, I'm seeing a football there, I'm seeing a basketball there, I'm seeing rackets here, yes. there you go. Yeah, yes. so we're going to be playing a bit of sports, we're going to learn about sports today perhaps. Yes. Okay, our, let's... Okay, our topic today is Module 9, Get Active. Get active and I'm sure a lot of us are ready to get active and teachers, it's not just the three of us that's going to be getting active this morning. We do have six other pupils joining us online. How are you all this morning? Yes, I'm sure I'm getting a lot of energy there. If you can wave at me, very nice, very nice. I'm going to mention your names one by one and please introduce yourself. From, from, SK, sorry, from SK Puchong Utama 2, we have Satvir. Hi, my name is Satvir Krish. I'm from Sekolah Kebangsaan Puchong Utama 2. Nice to meet you, Satvir. And we also have Arissa. Hi, my name is Arissa Nazihah Betty Muhammad Lazmi. I'm from SK Puchong Utama 2. Nice to meet the both of you from SK Puchong Utama 2. And next, we have from SK 1 by 2 4, Kuala Lumpur, we have Anik. Hi, my name is Aniza from Mukafa. And I am from SK 1 by 2 4. Very nice, Anik. And of course, we also have Andrea. Hi, my name is Andrea Rosa Atancius. I'm from SK Batu. SK Satu Batu Empat, Jalan Ipoh, Kuala Lumpur. Very nice. Hello, Andrea. And next, from Sekolah Rendah Tafis, Science Al Farabi, from all the way in Sa Tawau, Sabah, we have Harold. Hello, Harold. Hi. Hi, my name is Muhammad Harold Idaham bin Hamdan. I am from Sekolah Rendah Tafis Sains Al Farabi Tawau Sabah. Nice to meet you, Harold. And last but not least, we also have Wardato. Hi, my name is Wardato Anissa. I'm from Sekolah Rendah Tafis Sains Al Farabi Tawau Sabah. Nice to meet all of you there, pupils at home, and I'm sure those at home, those online, they are so excited because today we're going to get active together, so there's a lot of energy running this morning. Don't we have that a lot of energy, teachers? Of course. Yes, right. definitely. Look at us, we are all fully dressed up in our track suits. <laughs> we're all fully dressed up in our sports attire, and alright, do share with us. So we're going to learn about getting active. What are the standards that we're going to achieve together today? Okay, let's look at the standards. Okay. Today, there are two standards that you need to achieve, which are say the sentences by filling in the blanks using, using the verbs like, dislike, love, enjoy or hate. And second, we'll be looking, we'll be doing say the sentences in the substitution table using the adjectives easy, hard, boring, exciting, challenging or energetic. These are the two objectives that you will be achieving for this lesson. That's very interesting, isn't it? We have like, so it's if you like something or you dislike something, or maybe you love something, you enjoy something or you hate something. Let's not hope that we have any hate there. And we also have easy, hard, boring, boring. oh no, exciting. It's how we feel today. Yeah. Challenging or even energetic. energetic yeah. Right. Do we have yes. any more to share on the standards? Uh, so far, these are the two standards that we'll be looking into. Right. Anything for you from you, Miss Telasi? Um, we'll have to chat with us. We'll be also showing some emojis today. Right. We're going to share some emojis uh, for the verbs such as like, love, enjoy. So I think that will make this lesson interesting. Yes, I'm very sure. I'm sure all of us know a lot about emojis, especially the younger generation. Yes. They love to use emojis, don't they? Yeah. Don't they? Definitely. We right. can also ask our pupils out there to show their emojis. They also have a set of emojis with them. They prepare their emojis. Yes. And I'm sure those at home as well. You know what? We're going to have a short break. So get a paper, get a pen for you to also draw your emojis because we're going to see those emojis of our pupils online right after our break. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Stay with us on Didate TV KTM. Didik TV KPM Did you know the soccer ball for the 2014 FIFA World Cup took more than 2.5 years to be designed? Honey, 
surprise! Yeah, I'm back. So we're back here on Didik TV KPM. So as promised, there's a bit of an emoji going on here, but we will explore more later, all right? My name is Hanim Sean, and today together we'll be learning English Level 2. And with me, there are two teachers. They are Miss Anjana from SK Puchung Utama 2, also Miss Tulasi from SK1 Batu 4 Kuala Lumpur. All right, teachers. You know what? It's always important for us to abide to the SOPs because we are still in a battle against COVID-19. Hence, I would like to invite you to sanitize your hands and I will start first, if you don't mind. And I'll pass this to you, Ms. Tulasi. Thank you. All right. And if you can help me pass that to Ms. Anjana yeah, sure. as well. Thank right, you, Hanif. Throughout the show, we'll continue to wear our mask and we'll continue to practice social distancing. And for our friends at home, make sure when you sanitize your hands, it covers entirely around your fingers as well as up to your wrist okay right teachers what are we going to do today okay before we get started i have a question for you hanif do you play sport i do play sports yes and what is your favorite sport i would say my favorite sport would be playing basketball Great! Yes. So, I'll... which of this sport equipment that you use to play basketball? Which of these do I use Maybe to play basketball? Can I... Oh, yes! It must be that one. The classic one? orange colour ball. Yes, okay. that's right. Thank you, Mr. Lassie. But Lassi. where do you play basketball? Well, I used to play in school, at the basketball court in school. Okay. Yes, but I'm a bit short though for a basketball player. I know basketball players are always very tall. Exactly. Uh, great. Before we get started, uh, are you pupils ready to get into our first objective? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes, there you go. Okay. Right, we're seeing all the thumbs up going on. Yes. All right, let's get started. Okay, today I'm going to introduce you verbs. Five verbs. Okay, while I'm introducing you five verbs, Teacher Tulsi will be showing you the emojis. Remember, you have the emojis with you? Can you show me your emojis? Bring up your emojis. Oh, very nice. Boys and girls, can you show me your emojis? Very good. Andrea? Very, very nice. nice. I have mine up as well, Miss Anjana. Yes. Oh, Mr. Lassie, that's too. not fair. You got four with you there. <laughs> yes. And I only have one. Okay, we look into the first verb, which is like. First verb is like. like. And the emoji is Teacher Tulsi. Okay, so while Teacher Tulsi is showing, uh, pupils there can also show the emoji. Like. Like. Very good. That's right. Everyone is getting, are they getting it right? Yes. Well done to everyone. Okay. The second one would be dislike. Dislike. <laughs> That's a very cute emoji, Miss Anjana. <laughs> Excellent. And the third one is love. Love. Which has the love eyes. Bravo. Oh, those are very lovely eyes, I would say. Lovely eyes and lovely faces that we have. Okay. And the next one is... Enjoy. Enjoy. Very good. Very and nice. the last one is... Hate. Hate. <laughs> okay, the last one is hate. And I would like to repeat the words. Like. Dislike. Love. Enjoy and hate. Okay, you can put down your emojis. Now, I'm going to teach you how to use these verbs into your sentences. Let's look at the first picture. Okay, look at the first picture. Can someone tell me what sport is that? Any volunteers? Skateboard. Again? What is that? Can you raise your hand so can we can see you? Can you raise your hand first? Alright, who answered skateboard? Harold? Harold. Harold. Very good, Harold. Shall we give him a star? Yes, definitely. We shall give him three, three, stars. three stars. Okay, pupils out there watching this, you can also guess the picture. What sport is it? Okay, 
And the emoji that we are going to use here, the verb is like. The verb is like. Okay, so let's see how to construct them in a sentence. I like skateboarding. I like skateboarding. Okay, we'll go into the next verb. Okay, look at this picture. So Hanif, what sport is this? I would guess it is swimming. Okay, very good Hanif. Okay, and the verb is dislike. Dislike. So pupils, how do we construct put uh, how do we construct the sentence using dislike? Let's look at the sentence. I dislike swimming. I dislike swimming. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Well, swimming is not an easy spot to play. Of course, it is not. It's yeah. the most challenging one. It's very challenging. Okay, so this one. This is one of the most popular game we, sport that we have seen. So this is uh, Teacher Tulsi. Football. Very good, Teacher Tulsi. This is playing football. And, okay, and we are going to use the word love. And how do we put it in a sentence? I love playing football. I love playing football. Okay, and the next one. Okay, what is this? What wow. sport is this? With yeah. the flexible legs and so on. Any volunteers out there? Put okay. up your hands. Yes, Satwit. Gymnastics. Very good, Satwir. Gymnastics. Okay. And we're going to use the word enjoy. Enjoy. I enjoy doing gymnastics. I enjoy doing gymnastics. And the last one. Okay. Can you look at the spot? And uh, any student out there? Any pupils out there want to try this? Yes. 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 Anik. 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 What is your answer, Anik? Give it a go. Tennis. Yes. Tennis. Bravo. Okay. Anik, it is playing tennis and hate. So how do we put it in a sentence? I hate playing tennis. I hate playing tennis. Okay. So we have done five sentences. Starting with the first one, I like skateboarding. I dislike swimming. I love playing football. I enjoy doing gymnastics. I hate playing tennis. Well, tennis is a challenging game, Miss Anjana. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Next. Okay, now we are going to assess the students. Okay, let's try this exercise. You need to fill in the blanks using like, dislike, love, enjoy or hate. And you need to say the sentences. Why? When you are saying the sentence, do not forget to show the emoji. Do you all understand? A thumbs up? Our oh, people's online, there you go, very good. Where that to? Can you see a thumbs up? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So everyone has given us their thumbs up. Okay, let's give it a go. Number one. Who wants to go first? You can put up your hand. Yes. So we have Satvir? Satvir. Satvir is raising his hand. Satvir, please do number one. Satvir, we can't hear you. Can you unmute Hi. your mic? I love playing football. Again, Satwit, clear, loud and clear. I love playing football. Very good. I love playing football. Thank you, Satwit. Well done, Satwit. I'm sure you're a football fan. There's a lot of football clubs that you will love. You do. That you always love to watch. I'm sure. Right. How about a second one? Okay, Please second check. one. Uh, can we have Arisa? Arisa, would you like to do the second one? I 
I I I like playing tennis. Again, Arisa, I like, I like playing tennis. Excellent, Arisa. Okay, how many stars should we give to Arisa? Maybe we can give her two, three, three stars. Okay, congratulations, Arisa. You obtained three stars. Well okay. Well done, Arisa. <laughs> Right, okay. so we have a third one. I blank cycling. Who, sh who should we give it to? Wadato. Wadato, number three, please. I dislike that cycling. I wow. dislike cycling. Oh, uh, I came in <laughs> with so a bicycle. Sad. Yeah, Hanif came in with a cycle. Yeah, so we can't be cycling together then, Wardato. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. You love what you love and I love what I love. Exactly. Okay, number four. Can we have a uh, Harold maybe? Harold, would you like to do number four? Yes. Okay, please. Number four, Harold. Uh, I I You can show your emojis, remember? Like, enjoy I, I enjoy playing skating You enjoy ice skating Very good, Harold Very good Okay, let's go to the next one Next one, can we have Andrea? Maybe, Andrea, would you like to go? For number five Hi, Andrea, number five. Oh, she's choosing her oh, emoji. She's choosing her <laughs> emoji, all right. So I wonder how she feels about this sport. Exactly, gymnastics. Right. What I, is it? I hate doing gymnastics. <laughs> oh, I hate oh, no. doing gymnastics. See, okay. You hate gymnastics when we love gymnastics, we'll try. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Andrea. Well done. And the last one. Can we have... Um, who hasn't done yet? Anik, probably. Uh, Anik, right? Anik. Anik. Number six, Anik. I? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. We'll wait for you. I hate playing hockey. Oh. I oh. hate playing hockey. Okay, Anik. Thank you so much. All of you have filled in the blanks correctly and you showed the correct emojis. Well done. So, well done. Yes, Tulsi. So, what should we give them? How many stars overall? Mm, one or one, two? One, two? two? Oh. No, I don't think so. We give them three stars. Three Yay. stars. Yay. They all deserve three stars. Well done to everyone at home. Well done to our pupils online and I'm sure those at home as well. I'm quite sure they were also guessing, I love football. I dislike cycling. It made them thinking. Yes. Yes. That is right. That is right. Right. So today, so far, we have covered about using the words like, dislike, love, hate, and enjoy, enjoy yes. right, for sports that, that would be related to however they are feeling. Yes, right, yes, teachers? And I'm sure we have a lot more after this. We have already covered the emojis and I wonder, do we have more emojis after this? <laughs> I'm very curious myself and I'm sure all of you at home are also very curious. If you want to know more, just get a quick drink, get your pen and paper because we're going to be doing some writing and listening and all that. Just make sure you stay with us on DDA TV KPM. TV KPM Did you know the lifespan of a basketball is 10,000 bounces on an average? So I just found out that the lifespan of a basketball is actually 10,000 bounces. That's so interesting. All right, you're back with us on D-Day TV KPM and my name's Hanif Sean. Today on our level two slot, we, will, we are learning English together and the topic is getting active. And we have two teachers with us. They are Miss Anjana from SK Puchong Utama Dua as well as Miss Tulasi from SK1 Batu Empat Kuala Lumpur. All right, teachers. And of course, we do have six other pupils with us who are joining us online. They're from 3D 
different schools. They are from SK Pucung Utama 2, SK Wan Batu 4, Kuala Lumpur. Also from Sekolah Rendah Tafiz Science Al Farabi Tawau Sabah. All right, my pupils on the on online, they can just wave at us a bit. I'm sure you're all feeling active as well. Uh, I'm getting a lot of energy there. All right, teachers, what are we going to continue with right now? So yes. I was playing my basketball there. We have something interesting after this. Okay, I was wondering just now, Hanif, you told us that you like basketball. That is right. right? And I'm sure you can okay. see the skill here. Oh. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, why do you like basketball? Why do I like basketball? Mm -hmm. I love, I like to play basketball because basketball makes me run. Oh. So I'm keeping myself fit. Okay. I like to play basketball because I'm happy when I get to throw the ball and it goes into the hoop. Okay. It's a very satisfying feeling. Okay, good. Excellent. So you feel happy. You feel uh, active, right? I feel so, energetic. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to introduce you some adjectives. Okay? Okay, now let's go to the adjectives. Okay, the first adjective is easy. Okay, next, hard. So it's the opposite of easy. Next is boring. Exciting. So exciting is the opposite of boring. Challenging. And the last one will be energetic. Okay, just like Hanif today, very energetic. <laughs> All of us are giving a lot of energy, yes. aren't we? Okay, now, okay, what is an adjective actually? Okay, adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronouns. I would like to give an example today. For example, a big book. So over here, book is a noun. So the word big is the adjective which describes the book the noun okay okay now let's go to the sentences i would like to read out the sentence and we would identify which is the adjective okay okay now for the first sentence is i like playing tennis because it's fun okay now uh honey can you guess which is the adjective in the sentence? Which one is the adjective? The sentence says, I like playing tennis like because play it's fun. Yes. Will it be the word fun as yes, the adjective? Yes, excellent. Fun. Fun is the adjective. So the fun, the adjective refers to playing tennis. Okay. Next sentence would be, I dislike playing volleyball because it's boring. Okay, teacher Anjana, would you like to try? Which is the adjective over there? Um, is it dislike? No. Oh, no. Dislike. Oh, it's not what? dislike? No. Can I try again? Yes, yeah, sure. Boring maybe? Yes, excellent. Definitely, it's the correct answer. Okay, boring is the second adjective. The third sentence, I love doing gymnastics because it's Challenging. Okay, how about our pupils, pupils over are. there? Would you like to try? Harold, maybe? Would you like to try? Anyone? Volunteer? Raise your hand if Please you want to try. Raise your hand. Anyone out there? How about... Okay, let's pick one pupil. Okay, sure. How about Andrea? Andrea? Number three. I love doing gymnastics because it's challenging okay which word is the adjective challenging yes challenging. andrea excellent challenging so can we give her some stars oh she's getting three stars there oh, from me stars. Stars. Yeah. i give you three stars well okay, done andrea well done. okay the last sentence would be i enjoy playing netball because it's exciting Okay, okay, Harold, yes, you yes. want to try? Harold, okay, which word is the adjective? Exciting. Excellent, well done. Well done, Harold. Okay. Can he get stars as well? Okay, yes, of Please course. Angela, how many stars are we giving Harold? We're, We're giving, giving Harold three stars. Three stars. Okay, excellent. Uh, okay, Harold, well done, Harold. Okay, next, I would like to, since we have already read the sentences and we have gone through the adjectives, 
Next, we are going to use the substitution table to construct sentences using the adjectives. Okay, now you can see the first column is I, the second column would be the verbs like, love, enjoy, hate and dislike. Then the third column would be the games and the last column would be the adjective. Okay, can any, any volunteers who want to be the first? Who would like to try first? Oh, okay. okay I think Satvir, Satvir raised his hand first. Yes, Satvir? I love playing football because it's exciting. Wow, excellent. Okay, Very good. good. So you have you have been given three stars three by teacher stars. Anjana. Well okay, done. Well done. And I think okay. Satvir, you are a true football fan. <laughs> True football fan. Okay. Die hard fan. Die hard fan, yes. yes, that's right. All right, so for the next one, who would yes. like to try? Isn't um, it, Mr. Lassie? How about uh, anyone? Anyone? Can we Volunteers? see a raise of hands? Okay, okay, ah. Arisa. I like playing badminton because it's energetic. Very good, it's energetic. Okay. Well done, Arisa. Well done, Arisa. Okay, next, the third one. We would like to... Anyone would like to try? Yes, Wardato. Share with us, Wardato. I don't like badminton. I dislike badminton because it's, it's challenging. Oh, wow. badminton is challenging. Okay. okay. So Teacher will... Tulsi, uh, do, uh, do you want to uh, ask yes. them to show the Can emoji? Can you show your emojis as well? All of you are having your emojis, right? So, uh, yes, Wadato, you Wadato. said you dislike. Dislike. Okay, good. Okay, the next sentence. Oh. Shall we call <laughs> Anik? Anik? I had swimming because... <laughs> It's hard. Oh, it's hard. Oh, no. Your <laughs> sentence is correct, Anik. But we feel very sad, right? I mean, yeah. Most of us, I think most of the people, they hate swimming. They hate swimming. What right? about you, Mr. Lassie? Do you like swimming? I like swimming, but I don't really swim well. That is okay. <laughs> we get we, it, how it says. But I enjoy, I enjoy swimming. You Perha enjoy perhaps swimming. we should go for swimming classes soon. Yes, yes. maybe. And you know what? Yes. Because with sports, it's always about practice. Correct. Makes perfect. Exactly. Definitely, yeah. yes. Correct. Definitely. Okay, who else should try now? Okay, next would be... Andrea? You have already tried? Do you want... Okay, do you want to try? Okay. So she's constructing her sentence there. I can see the focus in your eyes, Andrea. I enjoy skateboarding because it's exciting. Wow. Okay. Wow. Can you show your emoji, Andrea? You said enjoy, right? Yes. Excellent. Nice. Well done. Okay. So Andrea goes for skateboarding. It's not an easy spot to play, Andrea. Yes. Not sure. an easy spot to play. Someone very courageous, someone very brave to be able to do skateboarding. Exactly. And you need to yeah. use some safety gears together. Safety gears yes. are very important, yes. And perhaps we're going to have one last one if if I can choose, teacher. Sure, definitely. Okay, you can perhaps choose. I will choose one, two, three, four, five. Harold. Let's go with Harold again. I, I, like, I like to play volleyball because it's challenging. I like challenging. to play. Can I see your emoji? Hello? Oh, oh, okay. So you like to play. Okay. Very good, Harold. Very, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay, now, we have, I think we have completed all the six sentences. And teacher Anjana, how many stars can we give them? One, just oh, no. one. Okay, Two. feel a bit better now. I think they deserve more. Yes, please. Yes, I think they definitely deserve they more. deserve three stars. Well, Since everyone has answered the question, they have constructed the sentences correctly. And they have used the emojis also as well. Correct. Right? That okay, well done, bravo! Well done to all six of you. And I'm sure pupils at home, you have also been trying. I'm sure you have also been telling yourself, I like 
playing hockey because it's exciting. Continue to practice at home because we're going to do more practices after this. So stay with us on d -Date TV KPM. TV KPM Did you know the first arrow was found approximately 60 to 70,000 years ago in South Africa <coughs> Oops let me try again Oh, I don't think I like to play with hula hoops because it's challenging. But we should never give up with whatever sports that we find challenging. Why? Because when we practice more, we'll definitely get better. And you are back with us on DDAT TV KPM. And today we're learning English, level two English. And my name is Hanif Sean, and I have two teachers with me. They are Miss Anjana from SK Puchong Utama Dua and Miss Tulasi from SK Satu Batu Hi. Empat Kuala Lumpur. And of course, teachers, we have six other students joining us online and I'm sure even our pupils at home are very excited because today we are together getting active in, our, in, in learning English as well, isn't it? Yes. Right. Teachers, before we, before we had our break, we learned about okay. like, dislike, enjoy, hate. We also had our emojis at the yes. beginning. What else do we have right now? Okay, I'm going to share a passage. Okay? Okay, this is a passage about Natasha. Uh, she's from Russia. Okay, so the most popular sport in Russia is ice hockey. So there are six players in a team and they use safety gears such as skates, gloves, helmets and knee pads for this game. So they use a stick to play this game. Okay, now I would like to ask those at, who are at home and the students, the pupils in the, uh, who are with us together today, find out the most popular sports in Malaysia. Wow, well, I wonder as well. What are Honey, the most do you know which sports is the most popular? Well, I think since I love oh, basketball, I might say basketball because I love basketball. Okay. Uh, why don't we ask our pupils online here? Yes, yes definitely. We? Any volunteers? Anyone want to be the first one? So what or do you can think? you guess? Yes. Which is the most popular sport in Malaysia? Oh, I can see Anik thinking that. He's looking up. He's like, yeah. what is the most popular <laughs> sport in Malaysia? Yes, Sanfi, would you like to try? Yes. I the most popular. The most popular sport in Malaysia is badminton. Is wow, badminton. the most popular sport in Malaysia is badminton. Can we accept it? I yes. think that's quite a good answer. We yes. have a lot of badminton yes, champions in Malaysia. Definitely. Yes. Of course, right? because we have Datuk Lee Chong Wei with us. We have us. Datuk Lee Chong Wei. We have a lot of badminton champions throughout the, the many years. Yes. yes. And what do we use to play a badminton game? Hmm. Anyone want to try? Maybe Anik? Oh, Harold. Okay, Harold. What do you use to play a badminton game? Yes, Harold. We're giving you some hints here, Harold. There, yes. <laughs> Hanev is giving some hint over there. <laughs> Can you unmute your mic, Harold? What would be your answer, Harold? Uh, what? What? I, I can do it. Actually, I love football. <laughs> oh, you love oh, football. Okay. 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 That's so fair. you think, okay, it's okay. That means you think that football is the most popular sport in Malaysia? Yes, yes. Yes, definitely, right? So we also have teacher football. Teacher Tulsi, we have two answers here, which is badminton and another one is football. football. Hmm. So, we don't only have one popular game, but we have two popular games in Malaysia. That is right? true, that is true. Okay, good. And okay. Miss Tulasi, if I may add, we also have some of our local games such as Sepak Takraw. Oh, yes. Which are definitely, definitely quite popular as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, correct. it is. Okay. Okay, next, I would like to go to an interesting section now. That would be answering some riddles. Okay, this would be a fun 
uh, activity with everyone and those who are at home you could also try to answer the riddles okay all right let's view our riddles i'm quite excited okay. wow so this is the first riddle i am the world's most popular spot hmm. i have two different names i am a team spot every four years there is a world cup there are many competitions held in Europe, Asia and others. Wow, this what is, spot am I? This is a challenging question. Wow, we, I think we have already a lot have of volunteers. volunteers. <laughs> we have a lot of volunteers wow. here. Alright, who would okay. like to try? Maybe why that too? Football. Okay, let's see the correct. Yes, the answer is correct. Excellent. Okay. Well done, and we have though. another name for football that is also called as soccer. Okay. Very nice. Let's okay, have the next let's go riddle. to the next riddles. I used to be important for human to get food. Now I'm just a spot. Robin Hood was famous in my spot. Do you all mm. remember Robin Hood? I can play. I can be played outdoors and I need a target. <laughs> if you hit a bullseye, you get the most points. Wow. I, wow. I think, Tulsi, we have a, we we have have a volunteer. volunteer. They are so good. Excellent. Satvir. Okay. We get Satvir. Satvir, can you answer? Yes, teacher. Archery. Oh. Excellent. Is that the right answer? Yes, excellent. Well okay. done, Satvir. Okay. So do we have one more riddle? Okay, we can sure. Try. One more, the last riddles. Children love to play me outdoors in the summer. I'm an Olympic sports too. You have records to play on me. My ball has feathers on it. What sports am I? Oh, this is challenging. Mm. Do we have any volunteers? Yes, Anik. Yes, Anik. Badminton. Badminton. Yes, excellent. Badminton. Okay, we would like to give three stars. Okay, for all of them, right? They have everyone has answered correctly today. Okay. Very nice. And I think, I think that's the end of our riddles. Yes. And everyone is very excellent. Our pupils online are excellent. I'm sure pupils at home as well, you were able to break those riddles and get the correct answers as well. I'm sure. Well done to all of you at home as well. And teachers, so we have actually come to the end of our lesson. Do share with us what have we learned together today, a recap of what we have learned. Okay. We'll be looking into the uh, recap of the whole lesson. Okay, which are the objectives there? We, we say sentences by filling in the blanks like, dislike, love, enjoy or hate. And the second one was, say the sentences in the substitution table using the adjectives easy, hard, boring, exciting, challenging and energetic. energetic. And all of you have done so well that Teacher Tulisi and I have decided to give all of you Three stars. stars. Well, well done, done to everyone. Three I'm sure stars. it's to our pupils online as well as our two pupils at home who have been answering the questions okay. right. You have just gotten yourself three stars. Well done. Yes, but if yes. your answers were not so accurate, not to worry because we are on a lifelong journey of learning. I think that's very important, isn't yes, it? Yes. Isn't it? And do not forget to refer to Sumberku for extra enrichment exercises and task sheets. Exactly. So check out Sumbuku, serve on Sumbuku. The link is provided there on your screen. So check out the link there and search and study more and enjoy what you can find in Sumbuku. And I'm sure all of you, I'm going to I'm going to use the word enjoy. I'm sure all of you enjoy our lessons today from both our teachers and definitely we have so much to thank to both of them. And they are Miss Anjana Prem from SK Puchong Utama Duas Lango as well as Miss Tulasi Anak Prempuan Visvanata 
Kelantan from SK1 Batu 4 Kuala Lumpur. Thank you so much to both our teachers. Yes, we are all you, very Anif. grateful for the lessons that we have learned today. And definitely we would like to thank the six students online and they are from SK Puchong Utama 2, Sadfir, Nur Arissa, from SK1 Batu 4 we have Anik as well as Andrea. And from Sekolah Rendah Tafis Science Al-Farabi we have Harold and Wardato. All six of you have been very excellent today. Can you just give us a thumbs up right now? Thumbs so up. So we're giving you a thumbs up because you have been excellent and you're giving us a thumbs up. And we're giving all people at home thumbs up for joining us today. And if you do have any more questions or if you're curious about learning more, check out Sumbaku and always stay tuned on DDA TV KPN because we have a lot more to share with you. My name is Hanif Sean and I hope to see you again. Thank you and Assalamualaikum. Bye. 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 Uh, so this is nice. Oh yeah, we have the song. Okay, let's not risk it. No, enjoy life. Yes, life, yes. Okay.